Judith Ann Neely will remain in Tutwiler Prison following a parole board decision. Neely, shown here in 1985, initially faced a death sentence for her, the crimes committed, but that sentence was later reduced. The Alabama Board of Pardons and Paroles unanimously denied parole this morning for convicted child murderer Judith Ann Neely. It's obviously a sigh of relief for the family members who say they should not have to relive the heinous crime now 40 years later. News 18 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple has the story. Family members of the victim Lisa Ann Milliken told the parole board that Judith Neely is pure evil and should be behind bars until her last breath. As soon as I pulled in the parking lot this morning, my nerves hit me. I was sick. Tina Milliken was just three when her 13 year old sister Lisa was kidnapped at a Georgia mall by Judith Ann Neely and her husband Alvin in 1982. The couple raped and tortured Lisa at a Scottsboro, Alabama motel for days before Judith took her to Little River Canyon, injected her with drain cleaner, then shot her in the back and pushed her down the canyon. She missed out on so many nieces and nephews. She missed out on getting to grow up, have her own children, have a family. Why should her murderer get to get out and enjoy those things? Neely was initially sentenced to death, but former Governor Fob James commuted her sentence to life in prison, allowing her eligibility for parole. It's a move Ninth Circuit District Attorney Summer Summerford says was a mistake. She says now Alabama has an obligation to keep her locked up for life. Children often are scared of various things. You have monster in the closet or the monster under the bed, and uh, a monster had a name in Northeast Alabama, and that was Judith Ann Neely. While the hearing dealt with the murder of Lisa, other crimes have been attributed to Neely, including the murder of Janice Chapman and attempted murder of her fiance, John Hancock. Chapman's daughter, Deborah, says it was important for her to be here today. I do not give her mercy. Um, if her name did start with the M, it would be for monster that she is. After hearing the pleas of the victim's family members, the board voted. It is the unanimous decision of the board that parole will be denied. God says to forgive but not forget. And I've been working on that. I don't know if I can, but I am working on it. Now, no one spoke in support of Neely's parole today. She will be up for parole again in five years, and family members of the victim say they'll be back in five years and every five years that she's up for parole to protest. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.